What is going on guys? Welcome back. Appreciate all the support on the Terry Tate video. Got a great video for you tonight, but I was waiting. Nobody else said anything about this? The 2K executive producer, Eric Bonish, comes out. And man, did he troll Madden. Man, did he troll EA Sports. So, first of all, he comes out and basically says, Hey, listen, because of what's going on, we can't get all the player scans done like we normally can. But we're going to make a commitment to you. We're going to make a commitment to the community. We're already out getting these scans done. And we're going to put them in the game as soon as we can. Then, this guy has the audacity to show next-gen assets. I mean, look at this, guys. That is incredible. Now, I mean, if you just take this at face value, this is 2K coming out, owning a situation that, you know, they really don't have a lot of control over, telling you that they're aware that it's disappointing to you as a gamer to not have these things in the game, but not only promising that they are going to continue to do it, but showing that commitment already in the fact that they're putting more scans in the game than it launched with, that's exactly what you want to see from a gaming company, guys. Even if it's not your fault, be active with us. Tell us what's going on. Explain to us where we are in the process and what has to happen so that we can better understand where our game is in development. Now, let's talk about EA Sports. I know you guys saw this. EA Sports has a new keyboard that they're coming out with to make their jobs a little faster. Pretty nice, if I must say so myself. And hopefully those are big enough buttons, you know, that they can get like maybe a whole hand on there. But I want to talk about what EA is doing. EA is literally sitting here knowing that they are just a couple days from next gen, knowing that they've got competitors in the marketplace that are showcasing their product. And EA Sports is literally on their Twitter with Madden showing a custom helmet somebody made. Madden shouldn't be promoting anything with X's and O's. Let's just get that right out there. When it comes to X's and O's, this is where EA really struggles with this game. But imagine being a gaming company where you should be at the pinnacle of excitement, right? I'm going to talk about the Cardinals game and the Bills game from yesterday later on tonight. Football should be at the foremost of every sports fan's mind. Every video game fan should be wanting to replicate moments like that. EA has a product that practically sells and promotes itself. Yet they're out here showing a custom helmet in a field. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are like, well, that's the troll? That's what they did? No, guys. Maybe you didn't notice the first time. I'll bring the picture back up. Why don't you take a close look at what Eric has over in the corner there? On your right-hand side. Is that ESPN 2K5 just hanging out in his home office for no reason? As he shows accountability to his gamers and his community and makes a promise to deliver the best game he can no matter the circumstances. You know, that is the type of commitment and promise that made ESPN 2K5 one of the best football games we've ever seen. And it is going to be the drive and motivation in why EA Sports is really going to struggle as soon as 2K can put a football game together. And the fact that that game is still proudly displayed by their employees, the fact that that game is still kept in such a high regard to the community, EA, you've had a very long time to get your poop in a pile. And all you've done is smear it all over the place. And as a community, we've had enough. We don't want to see custom helmets. We don't want to hear about what you're trying to sell us on a mutt pack. We want a better game. And it's becoming more and more apparent that you're incapable of providing us that game. But we do know there's another gaming company in the marketplace that cherishes the game that they built. And is clearly going to give you some complications when it comes to selling your product. Love to know what you guys think about this. Be sure to check this video out tonight. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Love to know you guys' thoughts on that and this. And you know I will be back in the week with more coming.